three years since the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Pact was signed, intertrade between African countries is yet to take off, save for the few isolated examples such as Kenya and Ghana. Non-tariff barriers such as standardization are still a big issue. With International Organization for Standardization, ISO, members meeting in Kampala, there is hope that uniform standards will be set. We are now discussing African harmonized standards so that we can have one standard for milk in Africa. So if we want to export milk to Cameroon, Cameroon will not say, but we don't know whether this milk is okay. Now, ISO discusses world standards, international standards, and those standards relating to conformity assessment are what are being discussed here this week in Kampala. Uh, we have uh, what we call standard management committee and joint advisor group that are chaired by the regional economic communities to understand how the continental work and standardization is being done. The fact that 48 countries are already in sync with the Africa continental free trade signals there is will to move in unison. However, the issue of domesticating policies by member states is still a challenge. Countries are encouraged to the extent possible to adopt international standards because it, it's, it's more uniform, it's applicable to, to everyone other than the, the, the national standards because sometimes you find that in the process of trading a country may fail to access a market not because its commodities uh, fail to meet the standards but it's just because of maybe labeling issues. The framers of the AFCTA envisioned a common market for Africa, like it is in the European market area. However, with the growing sentiments of protectionism among member states, it may be years before the AFCTA takes off. Betinda Gire, NTV Business.